Greetings, 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 greetings to the saints. In the name of the Lord Jesus, we have this series uh, this week where my focal, uh, focus is is this spiritually destructive and demonic uh, uh, false gospel movement uh, called the charismatic uh, movement. And uh, I'm making seven of them series, and uh, I think this is the fifth one. I'm left it too. Just to inject uh, in the body of Christ, uh, uh, just a frank like view of you know how to to identify the devil. Uh, who comes in sheep clothing, pretending to be uh, uh, the sheep, and find that he is not a sheep; he is a, he's a wolf. So, the greatest destruction is done in this 21st century is is the charismatic movement. He has done more damage with them uh, using the charismatic movement than he has done using probably witches and, and, and nightclubs and all that. Uh, he, because when a person is deceived, um, he's got the very same uh, confidence uh, as though he, he is the, he's not deceived. So a person who's deceived will do more, more damage than somebody who push uh, who knows consciously that doing wrong so the charismatic movement is anointed um, through false uh, uh, prophets who bring the genuine anointing but they are false in their teaching so the people that follow them get enticed you know by the by the anointing and, and, and great speeches and, and demonstrations and, and that and all that thing they act the act act the hypocrisy they do there. And then the people because there's a result of people being healed and, 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 and things happening, people usually don't go all the way, you know, to test us. So in this session, you know, just I, I've got some verses, just seven verses uh, that identify uh plainly the charismatic behavior and if and, and i was just going to read these verses and you you, sh you should be able to even if you're not that spiritual if you just i i took the bible i think i don't know what bible is this i've got all many bibles in my my, my, my house i just bought this bible but it's one of these new translation thing niv holy bible thing you know why i use these bibles because them charismatics loves this new translated bibles they don't love the king james and, and all authentic bibles so i want to to just beat the devil in this game i took their bible to show that even in their bible they are disproved now let's start with digital 13 verse uh 13, chapter 13 from verse 1 uh this is goes like this if, if a prophet or one who foretells by dreams appears among you and announces to you uh, a mirror clear sign or a wonder and if the sign or a wonder of which he has spoken takes place and he says let us follow other gods gods which we have not known and let us worship them you must not listen to the words of that prophet or the dreamer the lord your god is testing you uh, to find out whether you love him with all your heart and with all your soul it is the lord your god you must follow and him you must revere keep his commandments and obey him serve him and hold fast to him that prophet or dreamer must be put to death because he preached rebellion against the lord your god who brought you out of egypt and redeemed you from the land of slavery he has tried to tame you from the way of your Lord your God, which he commanded you to follow. You must plant the evil from among you. You know, 
You'll be surprised that the, the Bible does uh, not use signs and wonders as the final vindication, you know, of anything God wants done. Uh, both in the Old Testament and New Testament, signs and wonders were not the final vending that God is with that person. A man can have faith to move mountains and still have a devil to, to steer up hell. You know, it does not mean, and then we find that God he uses these false prophets to test how genuine are you in the word of God. Because a person is given that authority of, of, of a power over decision. You know, I mean, he owns his own decision. So God wants, he doesn't want to take you on that. He wants you to make a, just a, a sober uh, decision to follow him. Not just uh, be pulled by, so, and see, a false prophet who comes, does a wonder, and it happens. And but he, when it comes to preaching now and teaching, he started saying, "No, oh, uh, uh, let's go to the world and do this, or oh, whatever as the charismatic preachings does today." And then it says, "You should not." In the Old Testament, they stone them, you know, physically because it was still the day of our wrath. But now we just speak against them. We use the the, the mouth of, uh, to stone them, and then because he's trying to turn you away. So the first verse that 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 is exposed in charismatic, they use signs and wonders go, uh, to deceive people. You read the whole Bible. There is no true prophet, no true apostle who relied on signs and wonders to preach the gospel. Not even one of them. You find that Elijah will preach for many years, being rejected, not even performing signs and wonders. And on a certain instant, when God is approving his doctrine, he will use, uh, he'll approve him there, uh, in that sp and, 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 and uh, do a miracle just to confirm the word that has been preached. In the book of Acts, everywhere there had to be something Paul preached. He was not going every performing miracles. No, he was preaching. It was rejected. Sometimes it was stoned. Uh, 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 in a certain area. You find that he saw a man with some great faith and he, 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 he performed miracles and God will favor him in certain areas where you'll perform much miracles. But he was not going around just being a miracle worker. He had a bad and he had, a, he had something that he was giving out that he could die for, something that he was defending. And that was the truth and that was the gospel of Christ. And that was the doctrine of the apostles. And now these charismatics, they go anywhere, they fill up stadiums, and, and, and they just make all these home cells of small churches all over the place and, and then buy a big arena and put people in there and tell them nothing. And people rely on this guy's anointing and all their life, all they live for is this anointing. There's no scripture where people have to eat anointing. The Bible says, eat the word of God. So that's the first verse. And the second verse is Mark 7 that exposes uh, the corruption of these uh, so-called charismatic personalities or movements. Let's check on Mark 7 here, what it says. The word of God is so rich and it does bring the devil out. Mark 7, verse 6, it started verse 6. Uh, don't be ashamed of the word of God. He replied, Isaiah was right when he prophesied about you, you hypocrites. As it is written, these people honor me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. Can you believe that? People singing gospel music, go around shouting, go around, but their heart is in Hollywood. Their heart is to be like uh, uh, some, uh, some famous celebrity. Their heart is in acting movies. Their heart is in Las Vegas. They want to go all the world being smiled upon and signing autographs. At the same time, they represent the kingdom of God. And the Bible says, these people honor me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. They worship me in vain, that because of their teachings about rules taught by men. And look at all these false anointed prophets. All of them, they start to write their own Bibles. And their own Bibles that, that have their own taste, where anointing is highlighted more than the doctrine of the apostles. Because all they 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 interested is is deceiving people. Okay, verse eight. It says, "You have let go. Or, or, you have let go of the commandments of God, uh, and are holding on to the traditions of men." My goodness. 
My God Almighty. You tell somebody to be baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, they know it's not important to be baptized as long as you feel the whole spirit is not important. Uh, uh, okay, let's let me read. Uh, I don't want to preach in this. Verse 7 and 18. Okay, let's read 13, just the last one, so I pass. Uh, Thus you nullify the words of God by your tradition that you have handed down, and you do many things like that. Many things that are done by these charismatic churches that are not scriptural. You find them, they're campaigning for political elections in there. They invite some a rock and roll singers in there who get there and 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 and, and, and be celebrated more than any servant of God can ever come in there. They do anything to attract the masses of people to come to church. And then say for them to achieve that, they nullify. They make the word of God of none effect. They make it like it's not there at all, like it's an alien. You go to charismatic personnel, you try to tell them the word of God, it's like you're insulting him. It brings no joy to their heart, the word of God. The word of God is just an insult to them. You know, they want the, the applause of the world, the applause of the people. The word of God is it brings rage, it brings conflict. But they say they're going to have them. So that's the second verse. The, the third verse is May 24. Verse 24. I like this one because it just brings him up. Uh, uh, start verse 23. And at that time, if anyone says to you, look here, it is Christ, or there he is, do not believe him. For false Christ and false prophets shall appear and perform great signs and wonders to deceive even the elect, if it were possible. So I've told you uh, uh, ahead of time. There will come... Uh, uh, so uh, Christ, but the word Christ means anointed ones, anointed people, and they will be so anointed to a point that even the genuine, uh, uh, genuine uh, children of God will be a little bit moved. If it were possible, they will be deceived, but they won't be deceived because they'll be last, 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 last stand of the seed of God in their heart that will just somehow miraculously just don't go all the way but the bigger part of their heart will be moved by these emotions and miracles and and this attention these people will be getting have you ever seen anyone in the bible who uh, who lasted decades and decades of being celebrated by the world because of anointing have you ever seen anyone Anyone in church history who has who have been loved by presidents, loved by a talk show hosts, loved by and his material is all over the music shops and and and, and is appreciated by a, a, a darling. Have you ever seen a darling in the Bible? A darling prophet who's just a darling, somebody who's loved, somebody like that. He's never but it's a, this false prophet because they don't say anything that will discredit them. They don't say, and they only teach about prayer. They teach about all those things. They don't teach about things that could make the world really hate them. They don't say those things, you know. So Bible say they will be there, and then uh, and then when Jesus prophesied here yeah, of the uh, last days, he says they will be everywhere. Saying there is Christ there, there is Christ there. God, there is a man of God. There is Prophet Major One there. There is this man there, and it says uh, you don't go uh, even if they see those miracles. These are verses that expose these people where they are actually hiding. Then the uh, I think it's the fourth verse. It's Mark ten. Um, I'm trying to hurry. I don't want this script to be very long. Uh, just to. Forgive me for it, but we need to read them. We need to hit the devil this morning. So I'm enjoying really tramping on his back this morning. Mark 10. Uh, Mark 10 from this 24 to 25. And Jesus looked around and said to his disciples, How hard is it for the rich to enter the kingdom of God? The disciples were amazed at these words. I think we 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 we, we as we, we, we're supposed to be amazed at the extent of how riches are so much made in the emphasis with the, by the charismatic people. Uh, it should amaze us that the very same primary doctrine of the charismatic preaching, Jesus says uh, uh, it will equip people 
uh, to have a heart not ready to enter the kingdom of God. The very same primary teaching, because they teach riches more than any other thing. And and but Jesus says here, how hard it is for the rich to enter the kingdom of God, and how God how can God equip uh, 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 his last day servants to to really uh, capitalize on the subject that will make people uh, 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 not be able uh, to enter the kingdom of God. The, the disciples were amazed at these words, but Jesus said again, Children, how hard it is to enter the kingdom of God. It is easy for Kamal to go through the eye needle than the rich man to enter the kingdom of God. And the disciples were more amazed, and they said, Who can then enter the kingdom of God? That's how far uh, Jesus made an emphasis of how uh, 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 dangerous his reach is. He, so now the great emphasis all over the place, and it's never in church history, ever in days of Luther, Wesley, ever, 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 there's been this great emphasis of riches. Only in these last days of these deceitful, charismatic personalities uh, who want to gain the world and then die ha having enjoyed life and hopefully make it to heaven uh, with uh, and spend eternity with Paul and all those guys who suffered for the truth while they just enjoyed sin. And then, so it's not easy. Uh, so the people that are putting much emphasis in riches, they're deceiving people. Because the richer you get, it will be more hard for you to serve God. So if God blesses you, uh, he blesses you so that you blesses, uh, you'll be a blessing, but you be careful to be driven by sermons to seek riches. And all these charismatic churches, all people love money, all people that are corrupt in the world, they are there. They are funding the bishops, and then they are not, some they even bribe to get their government tenders and things like that. Nobody tells them nothing because riches have become a miracle of the last days for the church. So that's another verse that exposes the charismatic uh, movement scripturally. And the other one is X 20, let's go to 29. You know, if you hate living the word, uh, uh, you will never expose the devil. Verse 29 says, I know that after I leave, this is Paul speaking, savage wolves will come in among you and will not spare the flock. You see, they won't spare the true children of God. They won't spare them. They will just savage wolf. If you know what a savage wolf is, wolf, they get the, it's a dog. They gather just to 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 eat and and and, and to destroy and 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 and, and to kill the, the 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 most healthy of them uh, sheep, and then it says the ministries that will be following after he left will be among will not spare the flock even from your own number that means from the group of Christians, men will arise and distort the truth in order to draw away disciples after them. Do you see what charismatic personalities do? They have a ministry described as wolves. They just get there uh, to destroy the ship, try to get money out of them, try to get riches out of them, try to get fame out of them. Try to exalt themselves and make a, a, a church of, of this bishop, which is controlled by this bishop, which is owned by this bishop, a church of his anointing. And the Bible say here, uh, Paul says, even from the, from those, because he called 20, the elders there, from amongst them shall men come out who shall change the truth. Because you cannot preach the truth and win lies, I said. So they hide the truth. And then he says, verse 31, so be that on God. Remember that for three and a half years I never stopped warning each of you night and day with tears. Now I commend you to God and to the word of his grace, which can build you up and give you an inheritance among those who are sanctified. What is the inheritance of the saints? It's the word of God. Word of God is an inheritance of the saints. And Paul, when he left the church, he didn't leave him with his structures uh, of his own denomination and he, he let, or with his wife or something. He didn't have a wife though, but he, he didn't have any, uh, 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 some kind of a personal interest in the church of God. He, he, he put, placed them in order. He made sure they received the Holy Spirit. He ordained lay elders in there and he left them in the word of God. Who tell one bishop who does today? One, what they call themselves bishops, actually, bishops is just an elder, but uh, uh, because that's the word the public college uses to enthrone them. Uh, well, well, tell me one of them who does that. 
If he comes down in Africa, he will start a branch or, and then it will report back to his name. If he goes to Canada, he'll tell, he has this old uh, empire all around him. So uh, you must know that, that, that that's, that's the way. But these are the verses that they expose the charismatic movement. These are the verses that expose uh, the freelancers that go around preach a false gospel. These are the verses that, that will be... Uh, uh, will help you to keep you uh, and expose the movement of the devil and then you will you'll be helping uh, and then Paul says you yourself know that these hands of mine okay verse 33 says I have coveted no one's silver or gold or clothing you yourself know that these hands of mine have supplied my own needs and needs of my companies can anyone say that today you go to these tent meetings where evangelists will demand even watches and phones and cars and even cows out of people in jackets and then they will collect as much and and bring a great stomach block into the gospel of christ and people who are who have honest living work hard every day they have to work so hard and come and be robbed by these lazy preachers and they don't want to do anything in this life or the one they want to brag about god has blessed them and then this bring a in the heathenistic world it brings a big reproach because heathens know that we have to work for your living and these liars they don't work they don't want to do anything even the money they get they'll never have some support uh, support the poor kind of a structure or or or, 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 or some kind they, they 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 or some kind of uh bursaries or anything no they will be another mall house or something some some millionaire tennis court or a game center for his children and still tell people that they're going to have it. oh my god be merciful then uh i think the last two is first titus six five god is rich don't be ashamed of me. It's coming very soon. The Lord is coming very soon. So we must. Verse uh, 6, verse 5. It says, If anyone teaches, or starts with verse 3, if anyone teaches false doctrine and does not agree to the sound doctrine of our Lord Jesus Christ and to the godly teaching, he is considered a. a he is considered and understands nothing. He has an unhealthy interest in controversies and quarrels about words that result in evil strife, malicious talk, evil suspicions, and constant friction between men of corrupt mind who have been robbed of the truth and who think that godliness uh, uh, is a means of financial gain. You will hear that. They argue everything you tell them about women preachers that it's scriptural for women to be ordained in the fivefold ministry. To all, to, they don't never was a woman in the fivefold ministry. Never was a woman an elder. Never was, never was a woman a deacon. They will argue that they will go some history somewhere and get a certain Bible where God will refer to a one woman and, and say to the servant, "You can be a servant. Everybody, we are all servants of God in the church. We are all serving God. That does not place you in the fivefold ministry." Never was a woman, uh, go in the whole Old Testament, uh, from never was a woman priest. Never once. Never, never, never. Never was a woman high priest. Never was a woman major prophet who wrote the doctrine. Never. They were, prophet, they, they, they were um, uh, prophetesses like Miriam or, and, uh, uh, and all the other, like the woman was a judge and Deborah and all them. But it was never in the house of God. Uh, they could be anointed and used, but they never was ordained in the house of God to teach the word. And that did not change. Jesus did not even call one of the twelve. He never even called one of the seventy. He never, even when Peter replaced Judas, he never called one woman. Even when they obtained uh, Stephen and all them, Philip them and uh, deacons never chose no woman and Paul did made it a doctrine that the woman should not stand in front of man and, and, and teach the, the word of God but they fight those things because we're living in the days where women are liberated politically and it's kind of uh, 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 it's like, I don't know the spooky talk to kind of defraud or, or, or make a woman not equal to a man so they have to credit the world uh, that they are not so different from the world so the women are equal to men in their church my goodness if you in those churches uh, believe me you go to hell I'm telling you you go to hell be hell. I don't care how much of the anointing you feel there or how much of uh, your, your whatever you love, your pastor's wife, whatever you ordain it and give you a ministry, you go to hell. I'm telling you. Because they think that gain is godliness. They think that to be rich is to be spiritual. 
they they associate money with being spiritual let's second uh timo uh, i think it's second timothy here uh which is chapter three uh, let's read just verse verse eight just as james and jambres opposed moses so also these men oppose the truth men of deprived minds who as far as the faith is concerned are rejected but they will not get very far because as in the case of those men their folly will be clear before everyone their folly is clear how many of them now are, uh, has been busted in scandals and of being gays and all those things and people still follow them they don't care because they love liars there's a gentleman here by the name of Robert who wrote a book uh, called Generals or something, and he's coming from this charismatic person. And, and I bought that root, uh, bought that root book and, and read it. All the 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 the, 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 pe the preachers that were against God, that were not so much scriptural in their taste, that were in the favor of the world, he definitely approved them. He he celebrates them, and those that were. Uh, not approved by the word because they were preaching hard doctrines and things like that. He criticized them. And what happened? Later, I found in the newspaper here that he, he, he was chased. He, he stopped preaching because he slept with another man. The guy is going deeper into judging the true servants of God and making himself an apostle of some sort to, to discredit great men of God. And, it, and God, what, what happened? What happened? Bible say yet, their folly will be made clear. Be very careful. Be very careful. Be very careful living in days. Titus 1 verse 11. Uh, 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 verse chapter 1 verse 11. They must be silenced because they are ruining whole households by teaching things they ought not to teach. And that for the sake of dishonest gain. That's why they're preaching, for the sake of money. That's all they're preaching, sake of money. Last verse, which is Jude. Um, thank you, saints, for bearing with me. It's almost 27 seconds. I mean, it uh, should not go this long. But because of the word of God, my goodness, we listen to all garbage can, all the so-called TV programs of Christianity. In no direction at all. Okay, here's Jude 5. It says, though you already know this, I want to remind you. Uh, that the Lord delivered his people out of Egypt, but later destroyed those who did not believe. And the angels who did not keep their positions of authority, but abandoned their own home, these he has kept in darkness, bound with everlasting chains for judgment on that great day. In the similar way, Sodom and Gomorrah and the surrounding towns gave themselves up to sexual morality and perversions. They, uh, they serve as an example of those who suffer the punishment of eternal fire in the same way these dreamers pollute their own bodies reject authority and slander celestial bodies but even as michael and much angel who, who when he was disputing with the devil about the body of most did not dare to bring a slanderous accusation but said the lord repeat you yet these men speak abundantly uh, 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 Abundantly against whatsoever they do not understand, and what things they do understand by instinct, like unreasoning animals, these are the very things that destroy them. They will make doctrines that are false. They will uh, now they are trying to unite with with the, uh, the Catholic. Uh, they are forming this big thing, economical council, uh, where 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 all religions. Uh, has to be one, uh, uh, some kind of, and they they are say they are going back to the mother church, and and then and they're gonna be led like that. Let there be peace among us. Things that they don't understand how cruel the devil is working in them. Saints, these are the few verses. Um, be merciful, God be merciful to you. Uh, they, I could read a lot of them, but those are a few verses that expose the charismatic the devil kingdom. Flee it flee it and may god be merciful to you and may you forgive me for taking this long uh, but flee charismatic but i'm gonna do the six and the seven the only two left god bless you read these verses again and if you are in a charismatic church and where money is preached where uh, the world is ex uh, is exalted flee it where miracles are made more important than the word fleet god bless you in jesus name